The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, says the use of its recent innovation, the ZPAD, in a dual governorship election would speed up accreditation process. The chairman of INEC, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, stated this in Benin, the state capital, during the organized, labor, organized stakeholders meeting. Professor Yakubu says the use of the technology will also enable the electorate to view election results in real time. It is a new innovation introduced to serve as a secondary means of achieving full biometric accreditation using facial image of the voter in support of the fingerprint authentication by the smart card reader. Secondly, the camera on the tablet will be used to take a picture of the polling unit result, the ECAA, and to upload same on a dedicated portal. It's called INEC Results Viewing. I read. This will enable those interested in viewing the results to do so in real time. I part join INEC to welcome all here as we advise that we listen attentively, attentively to the outputs and be articulate enough to apply all material before us to secure the September 19 election successfully. As part of our election security plans, all the three senatorial districts, 18 local government areas, 192 wards, and 2,627 polling units across the state have been appropriately marked out, and adequate development will be made to ensure security. He said that the components of the C pattern for accreditation and authentication get to the body right has been dropped. So what happens in the polling regions when the vote has not been and swipes his vote card takes it from me and it is not very far. Will there be the use of instant forms that is used to be the last? To have a very good election is dependent upon the leadership of INEC and the leadership of the police. I was a student of Professor Wonsu in UNN. He did a good election in 1993. Successful election. We've seen that Africans can conduct fair election. Professor Wamu can conduct fair election. The ID can police our society. We are going to finish 18 steps then. I think we're going to be 14 steps now. We are getting close to the. Then we read the. The panel we should see the grace, the courage, the enablement from all the portals that will make this election free, fair, credible, and successful.